Dear Mr. Blueberry, by Simon James. <clears throat> Dear Mr. Blueberry, I love whales very much, and I think I saw one in my pond today. Please send me some information on whales, as I think he might be hurt. Love, Emily. <clears throat> Dear Emily, here are some details about whales. I don't think you'll find it was a whale you saw, because whales don't live in ponds, but in salt water. Yours sincerely, your teacher, Mr. Blueberry. Dear Mr. Blueberry, I am now putting salt into the pond every day before breakfast, and last night I saw my whale smile. I think he is feeling better. Do you think he might be lost? Love, Emily. Dear Emily, please don't put any more salt in the pond. I'm sure your parents won't be pleased. I'm afraid there can't be a whale in your pond, because whales don't get lost. They always know where they are, in the oceans. Yours sincerely, Mr. Blueberry. Dear Mr. Blueberry, tonight I am very happy because I saw my whale jump up and spurt lots of water. He looked blue. Does this mean he might be a blue whale? Love, Emily. P.S. What can I feed him with? Dear Emily, blue whales are blue, and they eat tiny shrimp-like creatures that live in the sea. However, I must tell you that a blue whale is much too big to live in your pond. Yours sincerely, Mr. Blueberry. P.S. Perhaps it was a blue goldfish. Dear Mr. Blueberry, Last night I read your letter to my whale. Afterward, he let me stroke his head. It was very exciting. I secretly took him some crunched up cornflakes and bread crumbs. This morning I looked in the pond and they were all gone. I think I shall call him Arthur. What do you think? Love, Emily. Dear Emily, I must point out to you quite forcibly now that in no way could a whale live in your pond. You may not know that whales are migratory, which means they travel great distances each day. I am sorry to disappoint you. Yours sincerely, Mr. Blueberry. Dear Mr. Blueberry, tonight I'm a little sad. Arthur has gone. I think your letter made sense to him, and he has decided to be migratory again. Love, Emily. Dear Emily, Please don't be too sad. It really was impossible for a whale to live in your pond. Perhaps when you are older you would like to sail the oceans, studying and protecting whales. Yours sincerely, Mr. Blueberry. Dear Mr. Blueberry, it's been the happiest day. I went to the beach and you'll never guess but I saw Arthur. I called to him and he smiled. I knew it was Arthur because he let me stroke his head. I gave him some of my sandwich and then we said goodbye. I shouted that I loved him very much and I hope you don't mind. I said you loved him too. Love, Emily and Arthur.